Hey there, Rhino Joe Outdoors family. On today's episode, I'm getting back to the basics. I don't have a freaking kayak, so we're just going to get out, probably do some wade fishing. I'm going to go fishing at a tailwater and try to catch some fish. So you guys stay tuned and see what's coming up. All right, guys, so... This is my first time fishing here, so this should be interesting. So, it's kind of like late afternoon. And uh, one reason why I love fishing these streams is you don't have to be really crazy about getting out here super early. So, we're going to get out here and try to catch some fish. I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go after bluegill, smallmouth, basically anything. So, we'll see what we can catch. It should be fun. There we go. Little bass got my whopper plopper. I thought that first time when I cast out there, I saw something try to hit it. So we're on the board. Nice little creek fish here. Let's uh, get him off my whopper plopper. Let this little guy go. He's bleeding a little bit. So one thing about when you have a kayak is the plopper is like freaking ten dollars and so if i end up getting this stuck in a tree if i have my kayak i just go over there and get it but especially not having a way to get it i'm trying to be a little bit more safe with this today and not cast it so close to cover and stuff so i'll probably make a couple casts here and then if I don't catch anything else then I'll switch over to a soft plastic because I don't care to lose a couple tubes and jig heads and stuff like that. That stuff doesn't bother me so much, but I do not want to lose my old whopper ploppers. All right guys, so caught that one little spot down there and uh, the area is just not the best for fishing. So um, I'm going to move to a different spot and see if we can't hook up with some more. a little bit better i should be able to walk up and down this bank a little bit this is a pretty popular little fishing area but i should be able to catch some see what we can do
Yeah, buddy. That's a nice little guy. Look at the color. Awesome sauce. Come on. Where did you get that? Come on, dude. Look at that little guy. It's a nice little smallmouth. Got that dark coloration to it, sitting right up there in the middle, probably down behind a rock or something. So let's let this guy go. He went right under that. He went right under that that shadow there. Sweet. Oh. Dad, gone it. I freaking missed it. All right, guys. In retrospect, like looking at the video after I saw it like I set the hook too fast on that fish I should have given it an extra couple like second or two before I set the hook and that's exactly what happened there that's a decent fish too man all right guys we're gonna try to do some exploring and see if we can't get a little bit further down I'd almost bet there have to be some footpaths where people walk up and down through here there's one I'll just see where this takes me door 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 the explorer should have brought my freaking machete bushwhacking through here you pick up your trash don't leave anything i tied on this little beetle spin and put this little lure on here we're gonna see what we can do with this kind of you can catch a little bluegill and stuff on this so kind of a little bit more opportunistic here kind of nice too because you can really switch it up They don't seem to want that color. You can switch up your color real fast because all you gotta do is switch out that little soft plastic. Put little tubes on there. Uh, you know, you can fish tubes, you can fish like curly tail grubs. Over the years, I have caught a lot of fish on these, and it'll stand up to some decent fish too. I've caught, you know, plenty of bass over 15 inches on these little guys. You just got to make sure your drag set right. Uh, main thing is you don't want to straighten out that hook. Really need to work on my little panfish box here i haven't really fished a bunch for old panfish so i need to put some work into making that box a little bit better all right so that second spot was a bust man I
gonna take forever. I got this fish by the freaking tail. Yay. So here I realize that I've hooked up with an Asian carp. So I continued to fish with a multitude of different baits whenever I was up here by the tailwater area. I fished with a curly tail grub and multiple colors. I fished with um, different like paddle tail type grubs whenever I was up there. I was really trying to get into these pan fish but um, there were other people up there and they were getting into these bluegill and they were like pure slab bluegill but not they I'm were obviously get. fishing with live bait. So next time I go up there, I might give that a try, but I had a lot of fun fishing this time and you know, you can't complain whenever you catch fish. So awesome day. Well guys, that was a little interesting. Definitely something different for me. Um, as y'all know, I love getting out on a kayak um, and I love getting out on the stream. But with not having a kayak right now, I want to try this out. I think next time I might bring some live bait and try to have like a panfish day. I really think that the panfish up there in that spillway were all over the place, but I could not get them to bite on artificial. <laughs> I tail hooked that, that carp and then I caught that other Asian carp, which are invasive. And if I would have gotten up to it, but I would have killed it just because they are an invasive species. Um, and I'm not sure what I would have done with it, but I wouldn't have left it sitting there to stink like somebody else did. Um, because those fish are something that the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wild Wildlife is really trying to get rid of. They're doing a lot at Kentucky Lake, but it's very obvious that in the Salt River, all the way up to hit Taylorsville Lake, there are a lot of Asian carp. Um, but had that one top water blow up on that smallmouth, 
that I missed. Uh, caught that one little straight bass on the whopper plopper. And then I caught that decent smallie on the tube today. So overall, great day, um, beautiful day. Um, got a lot done this morning around the house and then got to go out and do a little fishing today. So it's always a great day. Um, as always guys, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Uh, I'm gonna be bringing you all more content as soon as I can. And hopefully won't be too much longer and I'll be back in the plastic Navy as a new owner of a plastic vessel. So looking forward to that. But until then, I'm not gonna stop fishing. You can always make an excuse to stop fishing or stop doing something, but you know what? You gotta keep doing it because this is what I love. And so like, I'll get out here and fish from the bank and do what I gotta do to go out and catch some fish. Um, appreciate you guys. As always guys, get outside, do something awesome. Don't make an excuse of why you can't, just go do it and have a good time. And if you get a chance, take somebody with you. If you guys like my videos, please subscribe. And don't forget um, to hit that like button if you like this video. And uh, see you guys in the next one.